what's going on guys this is Jaco back again with another well not episode of my life but today we're going to be doing something regarding impulse vip you guys absolutely went nuts in the video yesterday or maybe the day before depending on when you guys are seeing this but uh you guys went absolutely nuts showed a lot of support and you guys said you wanted to see all my options that i use and make an updated video because i have been switching them around quite a bit what works for this what doesn't work for that um i'll be going over this so this is going to be a long video um probably not going to make too many edits or cuts but uh yeah sit tight and um you know if you have a question either watch the whole video and you might have an answer for you or i may or may not just ignore you in the comments down below but here we are anyways let's start with player movement i do classic super jump and keep in mind to save these options you can click f11 so if i click f11 it'll say super jump save so every time i load this up it'll give me super jump automatically this is pretty much all i use really, really use for movement um one of the cooler things you can use um let's say in the diamond casino house is you can use no clip which is kind of like sport mode and go into the vault room or uh go into like one of the caged areas without hacking and uh, just pick up the money or the gold or whatever that's another cool thing i will use very rarely but that's about it and super run i don't really use um because i can just teleport and stuff so it doesn't really matter to me <clears throat> own force field i do not use global i keep off the radar on at all times if you want to use orbital cannon a lot uh you can do that cops turn blind eye off is off sorry and i'll show I'll, I'll show you why in a second request i don't really use any of these model this is i use model quite a bit for example you can go down to most used model or you can go down to there's like over 700 models down here there's a lot you can become um johnny 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 um infinite rage um republican space ranger we'll, we'll stick with him for the rest of the video how's that sound boys but yeah that's what that's what we're gonna do there's some animal models uh don't do not use the single player models do not use michael trevor franklin in online your game will crash um yeah simple as that uh in some outfits you can save an outfit you can uh pick random outfit props um, so this, this outfit can only put on the helmet. So that's the only quote unquote random thing you can do. You can customize the props. You can put on parachutes and duffel bags and that kind of stuff. Like for example, let me load up this outfit. It's not going to work cause I'm wearing a model already, but, um, you can save your outfits, do random outfits. I only have one outfit saved and it's an outfit where I have a duffel bag and an armor. Um, yeah, armor on and it's uh, pretty cool. I've used it in a couple other of my videos and uh i use the wardrobe sometimes to customize outfits in different ways for thumbnails and, uh just for gameplays and stuff like that really um animation i use these a lot and one thing i definitely would suggest is adding a hot key to stop all animations because you can't stop animations unless you have a hot key or if you want to go all the way back into the menu find it go to stop all animations so let's see for example i can do push-ups now if i close it i can't stop it you can't move out of it you would have to go back into the menu but since i do have a hockey for it i have as his end i can just simply stop the animation right then and there so i use animations for thumbnails you guys may or may not have seen that um i have god mode um health regeneration sometimes i will use invisibility i always have it off to start but i'll turn it on if i want to use it for a video um invisible not invisible that kind of stuff i have never wanted on that's why i don't have cops turn blind eye on because it'll show up and stay in the bottom right corner like off the radar is and that kind of gets in the way so um i just keep it off for now no ragdoll is there anything i really use other than that other in here really nothing suicide i'll use sometimes <laughs> uh you know sometimes i will get all weapons i'll use that sometimes i never really have used any of the other ones but you can upgrade it these all work i'm 99 sure upgrade all weapons upgrades current weapon camo camo rainbow camo what does this look like let's pull out a gun okay so it just switches the tents of the gun okay nothing really special I, I just couldn't remember really what it did visuals i don't use any of these um oh you can change the crosshair <laughs> i didn't even know this oh okay that looks kind of goofy um triangle cross okay that looks kind of goofy i never really uh looked into that aiming laser i use this sometimes cartoon effects these are pretty cool um it'll give you like these uh kind of like swear word cartoon effects if you know what i'm saying aimed information i'm pretty sure this will just uh oh yeah if you look at that you you'll see the like the code and shit behind it it's it's really nothing useful 
Um, I think it works against people if you look at them, but I'm not really sure. Never really used it before. Ammo modifiers. This is probably the one I use the most explosive bullets in some of my videos. This works really well. Um, <clears throat> uh, the rest of these work. You can pretty much just read it and pretty much know what they do. Shrink ray, driver gun, delete gun, fire bullets, all that kind of stuff. Um, I have used modify ammo. I have used plant. No. I have used one of these. Red laser. Um, oh, yeah, here. This is what you can use. You can make any gun be the ray, ray gun like bullets. These, this is really cool. I'll use that sometimes. Um, I won't really use any of these. Shoot entities. Sometimes I'll use this for fun. Shoot cars and stuff. No reload. Infinite ammo and rapid fire is what I use 99% of the time. Rapid fire just makes you shoot a lot more bullets faster. But if you turn it off, it's just the regular, you know, just fire rate of the weapon. So you can pretty much just turn this into any minigun or machine gun. Uh, you really want one shot, one kill. You can use that for survivals or just like modded missions or if you're doing heist or something like that. Make it a little bit easier on yourself. Gravity gun and pickup gun, I will use frequently. Let me show you the pickup gun. Pickup gun's actually really cool. Come here, officer. And pick him up and go, okay, bye. <laughs> Later, dudes. Oh, can I pick? No, never mind. He's just going to follow his death. That's okay, though. Did I? Did I does work in single player. You don't want to use it online. I'm pretty sure it'll crash your game. Wormhole gun, I will use this as well. I'll show you real quick, too. So you got to hold control. Okay. So I've made a two wormholes. And then if I go in there, I'll come out the other side. It's, it's obviously really glitchy and it won't work exactly how you want it. But, I mean, hey, it's not really supposed to be in the game anyways. You can display weapon on your back. So, I have the Navy revolver on my back now, which is pretty cool. Or, you can just switch it to the, any weapon you currently have. Weapons in interior and passive mode, I do use. And, one last thing, I do use nuke sticky bombs sometimes. But, sometimes, once you have it saved, you have to go back in and uh, turn it off and then back on again. Because, it'll it'll glitch out sometimes. Watch this guy. Oop, he's donezo. Yep, he's toast. Yep, donezo. All right, vehicle. Uh, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, I, I'll use vehicle god mode, auto repair, seatbelt. Um, that's about it. I mean, speedometer and all this stuff works. Keep in mind, I don't use all the options. These are just ones that I use in modern life. So, I mean, if you if you just want to know what I use, I'm showing you right now. But if you want to try other things, be 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 free you know <laughs> be yourself be your own man or woman or samurai sword you know i'm not judging but you can you can use any of these if you want i'm not saying the ones i don't use aren't safe or anything like that i'm just saying this is what i use typically on a regular episode of my life uh spawning regular vehicles these are easy work really well and i added a custom license place a sport mode <clears throat> let's uh zoom in on that a little bit here let's to get out of it but this really you just want to go to spawner settings spawn with blip spawn with spawn inside vehicle invincible fully tuned delete old vehicle spawn planes and helicopters in air sorry that the notifications are getting in the way and spawn with custom license plate and that's what i have right there and then if you turn that on it'll give you the option and you can choose which color you want to have it um on as first so i usually have it all black this is usually what looks the best with pretty much any vehicle in the game and uh yeah i mean that's all i really do spawn vehicles pretty self-explanatory um i don't really use any of these other ones uh teleport teleporting options i do have a couple hotkeys in here to teleport to waypoint i think it's actually i think this is default uh the numpad zero i think that's default but i'm not sure I don't remember off the top of my head, but I do have a couple more hotkeys. I have a teleport to objective button, which I have as the dash or um, forward slash, I think, forward or backward slash. I can never remember which one it is. So if I go down here, perfect. The time trial is actually right here. If I go down in the time trial, um, I can just simply click the objective and bam, I'm there instantly. That's what I pretty much use it for in jobs and stuff. It makes it a lot easier. So I don't have to go into it every single time and you know switch it up um teleport you can uh teleport uh to your last driven vehicle so if i get out i can just teleport right back in a way you can teleport to any of these uh other things too if you have it or want to use it ipl locations these are one of my favorites in um 
uh, this menu real quick. Uh, the aircraft carrier, you can go to a couple of these other ones. They won't lag you or break your game most of the time. Um, and they work pretty well, and they won't work for your friends unless they have impulse or using a different mob menu as well. So if you take them to the aircraft carrier and they're like, why are we just floating above the water? You'll know that it's not loaded up for them. It only loads up for one person at a time unless they just, you know, kind of do it themselves. Um, let's see here. Ooh, I almost forgot. Vehicle movement. Um, I use... Uh, no way, I don't. I use basic fly vehicle. So I have a hotkey set for this as well. So I can turn it on. I have it as the uh, number pad, the subtraction button. And this, this is really, really good for getting around in case, like, let's say I spawn down here, but I still have a car. I can just fly it up. Very, very simple to use. This is very controlling. It's not uh, difficult to learn how to fly. It's not like actually flying like a plane on a keyboard or anything like that. I use horn boost sometimes. I don't really find the uh, reason for it because obviously I can just sport mode. I can fly around like this. Um, yeah, I almost forgot about that. Auto drive, I have used a couple times. It pretty much will just deliver you to your waypoint. If you've played games, certain games, it'll just, uh, you know, kind of follow the waypoint for you. Like Red Dead, if you set a waypoint, it'll bring you to the waypoint if you use the cinematic uh, camera angle. You don't have to do that with the with uh, auto drive on here, but it's still really helpful. Um, teleport world world. Okay, I'll pretty much use change the weather to extra sunny and then I'll go down here to add or remove hours and then I'll freeze time because I like it like how it looks in the middle of the day bodyguards <laughs> bodyguards is another thing I will typically use let's park our car real quick let's jump out um, sometimes I think the most fun is to use clones because it'll be clones of yourself so I'll give them god mode blips and then I have a hotkey right here what's up yeah this is my buddy now and you can't customize what gun you give them um, there are, there are a lot of guns um, throughout this um, but yeah that's really it with that is there anything else I use in here there's a lot of things I need to go over Ooh, sentry gun okay sentry gun is kind of cool I really haven't found it to be very useful it's kind of buggy it doesn't really work too often I try to use it in survivals and stuff but I just really haven't found it's the best thing and surgeon entourage this is kind of cool too it'll spawn away here let me let me put on a waypoint real quick show you guys how this actually works I think it's one of the cooler things in this menu go back to world insurgent entourage and an entourage of insurgents will come I will be in the back seat oh why did it just kick me out okay but anyways <laughs> if I were to you're gonna let me in dickheads Am I stealing the car? All right, whatever. What what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to drive you to the waypoint. Oh, are you doing it now? No. Okay, you're just being a prick. Understood. Um, no problem. Session. Uh, I'll use this and you know pick which player I want to mess with and use all the trolling options and stuff like that. Player ID thing. You just want to click the plus or the minus in the top right corner there uh, with with uh, the mouse cursor. You know you have to click X to use that in impulse. Click X, you can use the mouse cursor, turn it off, click X again. Have it as alphabetical, and then there's all these different options. I pretty much use all of them. They're really up to you what you want to use. Um, I suggest not doing it because you can be a dickhead. Unless you're doing it for content creation and entertainment purposes, then I don't know. Maybe you don't want to do it. <laughs> um, I do sometimes do all players teleport. I'll teleport them all to an apartment or something like that. Um, another thing that is disabled currently is the friends. They just added this with the 1.17 or 6 update. Um, where you can just pretty much it'll be like a mini friends list. But you won't have to go into like the Rockstar Home uh, thing. Social club thing. And that works pretty well too. And this is where I changed my name. Right here. is uh, I can change it to whatever I want. You say you uh, reset change name, change the custom name, and then it'll go set. You click set. You can change the color as well. I don't really do that because I don't want people to know that I'm a modder. Um, sometimes when I'm doing like invisibility trolling and stuff like that, I won't use it right away. Uh, but yeah, that's how that's how I changed my name because some people. Uh, asked me why do you keep buying so many accounts? I thought impulse was safe blah 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 I don't buy a bunch of accounts. I just change my name change it up every once in a while It was green boy because of the alien war going on recently, but um, I'll probably change it um, Maybe after this video or something like that. I don't know yet 
But, sorry that I'm out of breath. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because there's a lot of things that we need to go over. Show hidden players on the map. I'll use this sometimes if some people are, you know, off the radar. Show talking players. No one's usually talking, but when I was streaming once, a lot of people were in game chat with uh, Zyron and I. So, I turned this on just to see who was talking. That's about it. Uh, using that. Protections. These are really important. Um... For what I use, honestly, I have all these on kick is received, reports received, militia script, and network events received. I do all kick. And keep in mind, you have to, every single time, you can't save this option right here, enable event reaction. You have to go in and change it every single time you join or inject impulse for the first time of the day or just injecting it in general. You have to turn that on every single time. Keep in mind, all reports are removed with impulse, but you can look at how many reports you have. Um, maybe I'll show that later in the video. I have all these attachment protections on. You can uh, pause the video and check it out if you want. Um, network events, I don't think I have any of these on. Report stats, yeah, see, I have that on. Script events, I don't have any of these on. I have to keep a lot of these off or else, you know, I have a lot of trouble joining jobs and missions. Rockstar ID and IP spoofing, I don't use a lot either because of the fact, you know, it just makes it really difficult to join lobbies and stuff. And, you know, it just, it's kind of a pain in the ass and it doesn't really work. Uh, presence, notify on attack. Um, I have all these odd miscellaneous blame. So I don't think, yeah, so no modders can blame kill. Me. and I have impulse user block so if another person with impulse was in my lobby they couldn't troll or do anything to me which is pretty cool uh, recovery currently is disabled but pretty much what I did was set custom level uh, made myself level 240 or something like that a while ago did, yeah I did that a while ago and I also give myself hundreds of millions of dollars at a time. But right now, it's currently unsafe at the moment with any mod menu, actually, in general. So no, don't try and stay away from this until further notice because um, people were getting banned. So Impulse had it um, currently disabled for now because that's the only really unsafe option in the game right now, apparently. So uh, yeah, that's disabled until further notice. It'll probably come back soon. I don't know when. So please do not ask. I don't know when um, it'll be coming back, but hey, uh, it's a really good option. It has a lot of really cool options as well. Um, it gives you like bunker research, unlock all vehicle mods and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's really good recovery. Um, impulse is usually said to be the best recovery and believe me, it is. I've used pretty much most of those recovery options. So when it's enabled again, I'll probably make a video update, little update video and talk about it as well. Script tech V. I don't even know what that's used for. Honestly, model swapping. I do not use, but, uh, it's pretty cool. I use it. Actually, I have used these in single player. But um, it's really nothing special. Turn police cars and monster trucks and stuff like that. It's just a fun option. Miscellaneous. Um, so I have gotten <laughs> 16 reports. And I think what happens is after they report. Uh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, these are how many reports I've gotten. 16. And every one of those 16 times the player has been kicked because of the option or protection I have on. Disables. I pretty much have the only disable idle kick on. Disable phone can be glitchy. Disable loading screens and cutscenes. I found to not really work because if you disable the cutscene, then it, like, it won't work. And then whatever you're trying to do, like let's say you're trying to start a mission, it won't work after that it's weird i would just suggest have them off either sit through the cutscenes or skip them uh disable notifications that'll disable literally everything like kill feed and i think the chat as well but i can't really remember but that is something that i have also used um it, i use game recordings for pretty much uh in thumbnails and stuff so if you guys don't want to have game recordings on you know like the f1 option you can turn those off as well uh disable hud you just pretty much turn off the map And yeah, the rest of these I have not really ever used. Um, external links. Tra oh, train options. Train options is pretty cool. Uh, spawn train. I can spawn a train. Check this out. <laughs> and uh, can I wait? Can I? Oh, yeah. I have to click. No, wait. Click derail train. And drive nearest train? Is that how it works? I'm just like 
Look at, look at me, I'm in there. At the very bottom of the screen. I don't know what's going on, really. I thought this worked, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, well. But, uh, yeah. I don't really do any of these other camera options I can do. You can turn on FPS and cohorts, display. You can bypass talk and hear restrictions and chat restrictions so you can swear or whatever. And you can just have it so everyone in the lobby can hear you. So if I were to turn it on and scream cunt or something, everyone in the lobby would be able to hear it. Uh, bypass restricted area. That kind of goes with uh, never wanted. Um, pretty much turn off never wanted. Because if you go in the military base, even with never wanted on, it'll still give you wanted level. And um, yeah, that's about all I really use. I'm still stuck in this uh train station but i'll find my way out using any one of these lovely teleportation options let's go inside of hmm fib top okay never mind we're not gonna do that because <laughs> i'm still stuck in the train Alrighty, but uh i think that's where we're gonna end it today thank you guys for watching i know this is a longer video but uh you guys really asked for it and you guys were really hoping for it so i thank you guys for watching and uh, as always, please remember to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. In the video, I forgot to put in how to change the menu theme, so I just pulled up a random clip from a past mod I have to show you right here and right now. You just want to head over to settings, menu theme, and then you want to scroll down to header, and then you can just choose whichever header you want. Sorry for your loss, look at what I bought, paint like Bob Ross, but it's not a draw, when that coin gets tossed, I don't catch no else, wishing well, nah, fuck they blogs, they